What's up guys, how's it going? We're here at DAP Tuning with Dustin and he's going to be installing the M Factory Limited Slip Differential into my RSX 6 speed transmission. Now, while we're installing the M Factory Differential, we'll be checking all gears and synchros for any abnormal wear, any abnormal play or excessive play to make sure the transmission is good to go, being the car is gonna make an excess of 400 horsepower. All right, perfect. Let's get going. Let's do it. Step one, disassembly. I'm brain farting right now on how to get the shift selector out. After removing all bolts and the 32mm sealing cap, he spreads the snap ring, takes out the speed sensor, gear selector, and stock differential. He then transfers the gear ring from the stock differential to the M factory differential. Some log tight? Yeah. All right. Make a run to the Honda dealer. We're missing a couple of differential bolts. And we're back. Always buy new differential bolts as the old ones cannot be reused after stretching. Finally, tighten the bolts in a crisscross pattern. Since this was a used transmission that was taken apart before, the aluminum casing was a bit rough on the inside, making it difficult to remove the main shaft and counter shaft assembly. Luckily, Dustin knew exactly what to do and gave it a couple of taps using his polyurethane hammer and flathead combo. Yes, the stock bearing is just bound up in the hole. And it popped right open. After removing both shaft assemblies and shifter forks, Dustin now proceeds to clean any transmission fluid and possible metallic particles from the aluminum housing. Moving on to inspect gear teeth in synchro condition, we were pleasantly surprised to find Synchrotech carbon synchros installed. It looks like it has like almost no miles on it. So, and then synchro faces look almost unused. Oh my god. Like everything about it. One of the most uh, big things I was stressing about besides the motor pulling up is the transmission. So everything actually looks extremely new. Now the next step is to remove any sealant or gasket material left on the transmission. Someone used this thing was torn apart. Yeah. And massive amounts of drag marks. It's almost like they used a hard scraper to scrape the surface. I mean it ain't gonna hurt it. It's okay. That's what the seller comes for, but definitely makes for a non-pretty product. Well, overall my car's not very pretty. I just want to make it fast. Isn't that what normally matters? Function over form or form yeah. over function? I prefer function, function over form. While it is not always necessary, it is a good idea to replace axle seals and bearings when taking your transmission apart for peace of mind. Genuine parts from Honda. Best way to go. Dusty assembles a simple tool to gently tap in each axle seal and bearing. Yeah. 
out with the old and in with the new. We decided to replace these parts because they came new with the used transmission for free. But otherwise it wasn't really necessary because everything looked to be in excellent condition either way. Now it's time to put things back together. Apparently I was looking for a tool that was right in front of my face the whole time. <laughs> I have had those moments myself. Dustin now tightens down the bearing set plate with the proper torque specs and installs the reverse gear and shaft. And also, I try to investigate what his secret fluid is composed of. What kind of fluid is that? That's the homebrew, man. <laughs> is it a secret? Yeah. Okay. It's not really that secret, anyone can figure it out, but I, I prefer not to talk about it. Okay. <laughs> it works. So I use on transmissions and on cylinder heads, on like cam journals where you're the oil ports are too small to run assembly lube. Yeah. So you can't um, put assembly lube in them. You have to have something that's very, very, very good, but at the same time, not as thick. So. Turns out it's dishwasher soap. No. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. I'm not gonna lie. Make sure to generously lubricate the majority of moving internal components. Drop. Dropping in the gear stacks nice and snug and applying Honda Bond. Took her a couple of wax to put her back together, putting in the bolts hand tight and finishing things up with a torque wrench. Now that is work of perfection. Putting some seal it down for the shift selector, tightening things up. And now Dustin's going to torque down the three detent bolts after aligning the shift forks properly. Now to wrap things up, Dustin flips the transmission over, placing it against a block of wood, then taps a few times to ensure the snap ring is in the bearing groove. Thanks for watching the video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Dustin here does really great quality work, he takes the time to do everything absolutely perfect. That's what we're here for, we just want to make quality product, happy customers. Give us a shout or check us out on Facebook at DAP Tuning or 817-528. 4840. We're here for all your tuning and performance needs.